Welcome back, guys. Will Blandon. Let's talk about it. When should you start building your business and corporate credit? We now know right off the rip, right off the top, from start, from formation, immediately after forming your LLC or corporation, you should start adding some trade lines and backing it with your personal credit if necessary to begin the building your corporate and business credit right off the rip. We know that now. And guys, the good news is the grants are coming. There are more government grant states. Joe Biden, man, he's just giving out money. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be on either side, Democrat or Republican, but the Democrats are just giving out money like hotcakes. So now all you got to do is have an entity. So it's very simple, guys. Set your entity up now. But I would take an extra step. Start building some trade lines on it. The minute you open your business bank account, start adding some trade lines. So you should only use your personal credit to back it when absolutely necessary. You're like, you got to get some fast money. But if you don't have to do that, start adding some trade lines right off the gate and start the credit building process. Guys, the key is, and this is my personal goal, to when I'm done, had said and done, I will have a revocable living trust because I want to be able to keep changing it that controls all my entities. I want to have at least one S Corp. I already have a C Corp. I probably will have a partnership. Um, the goal is to have at least one nonprofit in the gate. I have a whole holding company scenario I'm working on. Now, why am I doing all this? Because I'm trying to build a dynasty, guys. You know, I might be a bullshitter in my past, but guys, I am actually trying to do something nobody in my family has ever done. As, to, as far to my knowledge, no Blandon has ever done what I'm trying to accomplish, which is to build a dynasty for my granddaughter, you know, and her future generations. You know, I want to be on somebody's wall. I don't care if it's just a hoodie and a hat. I want to be on somebody's wall and be like, this is the blending that got us started. You know? And it all started from just a holding company scenario. Get a company going that's actually bringing in some revenue and start building your dynasty. It's not even about getting rich anymore because we got so much government funding coming, guys. They got so... Uh, I can tell you this. They have a government funding program coming right now that they're giving to small businesses and if you're a small minority business, I think we're less than 10 employees or something like that. They're just giving you money. We just don't know if it's going to be a grant or a loan yet. But if it's going to be a loan, so what? It's going to be government backed, so it's going to be low interest. As I'm taking whatever they give me to keep, if I got to keep daisy changing and taking their government money to pay off government money. To keep my business flowing. That's what we're doing. That's the grind. That is the whole purpose of this channel. Is to teach you guys how to become a corporate hustler. You know. With or without revenue coming in. You got to start having your corporate credit as backup. So when you can't sell anything. You still got something going. Guys I haven't worked in. I'm not bragging. But I haven't worked in over a year because I'm funding what my my business with government revenue until my business does the kind of income I need. Once that once my bit my affiliate holding company business brings in at least six figures a year, I can pretty much relax because then everything's on autopilot. I will continue to get more government funding though. Why not? Why not? Why not? Some of it's forgiven. Use government money on, to buy government stuff. 
guys, I'm taking it a step further because I'm going to try to start a nonprofit in a low income area. Exactly what they say they want me to do. They want you to go into the worst areas in Hartford, Connecticut, which is our capital. It just happens to be a shithole. If I got to go in the worst areas and they giving me the money to revitalize the area, so what? Let's take it. I don't have to live there. Guys, think. You got to use as much government funding as you can to get your business off the ground. But while you're doing that, you need to be working on an actual business. You can't just be laying back chilling. I mean, I'll be chilling. I'll be smoking weed. I'll be chilling out a little bit. But every day I get up on the grind trying to bring in more video, more traction marketing, so that you guys buy from the links below. And that expands my real business. You can't just focus on taking money, taking money, and not building out your business. But for some of you, you already have a business. You go out and you drive Uber or Lyft full time, or you already got something that's bringing in revenue. All you got to do is get that in the LLC as fast as possible and sit and wait for this more government money. This is not the EIDL program. That's not what we're talking about here. I'm talking about more government funding that's coming. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to be ready. I already have a holding company in Wyoming. Navy Federal, you know, I haven't got any corporate credit yet, but I'm eventually pull the trigger and get probably another line on the personal side and on the business. And then I'm going to start focusing on building some trade lines and I'm going to really build out my media company, LLC, really is going to be like a bank at some point because all I'm doing is really just building trade lines on it and at some point, I'll probably pull the trigger and probably get my first lease vehicle under that business, under the media company business. So the holding company is just affiliate business. And the media company kind of works with the holding company. So that they kind of do business with each other. You know, if I wanted to, I could send a check from my holding company over to my media company and pay it say $500 a month because it's using the services. And that helps the bank see, okay, he's got a steady $500 from one customer. You see how you can use your businesses actually in conjunction with each other and bring in more revenue? And that's not doing anything fraudulent. You, your businesses can do business with each other legitimately. But this is the power of doing this stuff. I'm trying to build a dynasty, but I'm building it one step at a time. I'm not rushing. I'm not even done with preparing my media company yet. I'm taking it step by step slowly. I'm still focusing on the attraction marketing. So if you guys eventually check the links below and get in something like the free gas club, the free gas club guys, by the way, damn what you think about Troy Mason. You know, I know some of you don't like them, but damn that. The free gas cup is bringing in daily revenue. I'm going to say it again. Daily revenue. And I saw that somebody that's subscribed under my free gas club and it said their name, their nickname was, um, this is a test. I saw that. So they're kind of like, they're kind of like iffy, but they testing it out anyway. So even people that don't, are iffy or getting in because you immediately, once you sign up, you're getting a dollar. Now, is that a lot of money? No, but it gets you, it gets you enticed and people to sign up under you enticed because you're seeing a dollar every time you sign up somebody for free, for free. Y'all can't come say no to free. So anybody that hasn't signed up for the free gas club, the link will be below. I have a domain that goes right to it, which is your free gas. It's just spelled out yourfreegas.com. But you could click the link below. Guys, if y'all say no to free, I don't have nothing else to do with you. Don't even watch my channel no more. It's free to get in the free gas club program. Share it with others for free. And they get a dollar, you get a dollar. 
but it gets exciting when people start buying marketing products because you get a 40% commission here and there. You could do this basically just affiliate business now. It's not even network marketing unless you become a platinum member, which I am. And then the network marketing side kicks in, which could bring you in three times more money. So you could just be an affiliate or you become a super affiliate or you can actually do the network marketing side that's going to bring you tons of revenue. At some point, guys, when these guys start buying their advertising products, my revenue is just going to shoot up. Now, whether or not the company is going to stay in business, we know how that goes. But while it's good and while it's around, I mean, I'm going to try to knock out some sales, you know. And because it's free, I don't see how you guys can say no to that. Now, on the back burner, you guys know I'm all over World Crypto Life. Probably one of the safest crypto investments I've ever gotten into. I'm actually dabbing a little bit on Coinbase. Um, I got some Crypto.com. But I don't, I'm really iffy about the Crypto.com platform. So I got some Crow, but I got it on Coinbase. Now, I know Coinbase is kind of cheesy, but it's safe. It makes me feel good at night. And if you're new to crypto, start with Coinbase. Don't play around because it'll just confuse you. And I don't pretend to be a uh, crypto specialist or anything, but I'm dabbling, guys. Right now, I'm going to do a video with my portfolio and Coinbase. And, you know, I got a small portfolio, a little bit over two grand. Um, now, it is tax season. Thank God I found somebody in Hartford that could do my taxes cheap. Guys, I'm so frustrated with taxes and business taxes. I'm thinking about coming out with my own agency just to do taxes. I really am. I'm considering like getting licensed and that'll be another business we do down the line under my, one of my holding companies because it is nothing more frustrating than finding an affordable place to get your taxes done. So, don't be surprised if you don't see me, oh, how I got a tax business done, but I'm going to really do it before I even do those videos. You know what I'm saying? But don't be surprised if I don't have a little tax business going. So, instead of franchising and going like Liberty Tax Way, I might just come up with my own brand and start doing taxes. I ain't going to do it. I'm just saying, we can hire some people. I can brand it. I'm no marketing guy. I don't even want to do the work. If you notice, I'm not out here trying to work, guys. I'm out here trying to market if you haven't figured it out. But I don't have to really sell you guys. I can just tell you what I'm getting involved in. And that's all I'm doing here on this channel. So if you want more content like this, keep supporting. Check the links below. Give me that thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.